on Kid Green, I'm the head coach for East Coast Rugby Club. Uh, and I'm Andy White, I'm the uh, forwards coach for East Coast Rugby Club. Okay, Craig, Andy, your first full season almost comes to a close this Saturday. Let's recap the season, how you think it's went, your first year in East Coast Bride and uh, with the club. It's not a bad way to end the, end the season, I suppose. It's, good. it's a good finish to the season, for good sure, finish. yeah. Big high. Yeah, I think I think uh, in terms of the season, the way the seasons went, um, it's been we've, we've brought in quite a, quite a lot of change to the club, and uh, the players done really well to to adjust to those changes. So there has to be a bit of like whole storm and enormous stage going on with the, the sort of the readiness of the club in terms of being competitive. But we've definitely had our ups and downs throughout the entire season, which is just only you can only expect that with a new a new way to play the game. Um, but definitely, if if this year was the foundation for next year, next year is going to be our next season is going to be. A, Yes. So this Saturday is Murrayfield in the National Shield final. Tell us a little bit about how the build-up's been, how's training been? Yep. Well, uh, we well I'll, I'll tell you what. There's there's definitely been a bit of excitement and energy with the player group. Uh, I don't think we've had since pre-season. I don't think we've had the same numbers of people eager to put their hand up for team selection every week. So um, no, that 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 element of it's been absolutely fantastic. The boys are really buying into stuff. We're working really hard. In the couple of games we've had uh, prior to this, the build up to this, um, finishing off the league season, you can really see uh, incremental improvements in the things we're working on in training, which is really, really good. Uh, but uh, yeah, so yeah, exciting times. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, it's been um, it's been interesting to see how players cope with stress. Um, obviously, everybody knew or everyone's known that their, their performances on the pitch and off the pitch has been watched and, and whether or not they're up for selection uh, for the game against Stuart. Um, so that's been quite interesting to see some people be completely okay with it and other guys being really, really wound up about it. So that's been pretty interesting for me. Uh, but no, they, they, in terms of the commitment of the players, it's been pretty great. We've not really had to ask much, much of them uh, in terms of uh, what they've already given us. So quite happy with how that's all going. It's been good. I mean, the past couple of games we've played, we've, we've definitely been messing about with the squad. Um, as you'd expect, coming to the end of a long season, um, there have been a lot of niggling injuries that have been hanging about there, but uh, the players that are there now and getting selected are fine fit and ready to go. Talk about that selection there. Any team news that you can give us? Do we decide to let him play? I think we did. I, think, uh, I, I got a proviso saying as long as I get enough time to make an impact. <laughs> I think uh, in, in, uh, in all seriousness it's been a really, really um, tough uh, selection. Uh, sit, you know, uh, the, the last few weeks people putting their hands up, the, the discussions that we've had up until this point about team selection, really, really tough, aren't they? Yeah, there's, not, there's, been, <clears throat> there's been competition <clears throat> for most positions. Um, there's been a lot of guys putting in a lot of effort who have just not been lucky this time around. Um, and as I tried to say to them on in messaging and postings about how, how important they are to this final week of preparation as well. Um, so there's going to be people who are disappointed and there were people who are disappointed. Um, but it, they, they, did, they did their job right by making errors really hard. Um, we had a really good discussion over all sorts of scenarios uh, which made, it, it made the final selection uh, straightforward enough for them. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a tough, tough position to be in sometimes. Because some players who you'd want to have there just in the day for their experience. Um, but when you start looking the way one of the is, the way Stuart to play, um, there's just other players that would cope better with those other situations. So yeah, it's a good week. Good, good. And you mentioned Stuart there, a team we are familiar with. Yep. Playing both home and away. One for one. One for one, indeed. How, how are you feeling about them? What do we know about them? How are you preparing against them? So, what do you expect from them? So, Stuart, we had a, the first place Stuart, the first time I played Stuart, was down there. Um, it was a new team to me, I'd never played against them before. So, yeah. I didn't really know what to expect other than I knew they'd be physical, I knew they'd be skilled. Uh, I know their, their rugby program has been in place for about four or five years now, so I knew they'd be well drilled. Uh, and certainly, the coaching staff are really, they know what they're on about. Um, so, when we went down there and they played against us, there was a lot of what they did that I'd quite like us to have done. Uh, and I think I mentioned it to them as well. Yeah. I think I mentioned yeah. them as well. So it's definitely what the style, the style they play, they play is the style that we really want to be trying to play. So the second time we played them, we were a little bit more used to the style they played. Um, we, we put a bit more of our game onto us, and you know they had to travel up, and we travelled in the first time. So um, we're expecting them to be an equally as competitive team as we would like to be. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it.
Yeah, a good side. Good side to have in the in the final, aren't they? Yeah. Good side, you know, and a good bunch as well. Yeah, they are. Um, so, yeah, we'll look forward good. to it. And just last question, you both of you had really strong rugby playing careers. Where does landing at Murrayfield on the final day of a rugby season compare in significance uh, in your coaching careers? Complete jealousy, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah. Uh, it's quite funny, actually, I was, I was talking about this earlier. Um, just the fact that I know that the guys who... Every, everybody who played rugby in Scotland wants to play in Murrayfield at some point in their life. You just did. That, that was a dream. You went to watch them when you were kids and you saw the players and saw Stanger scoring a try in the corner. He did score, didn't score, didn't. Um, there's all that history there and I've been on the pitch a couple of times myself just not to play or train or anything that in coaching courses but I never actually played it and I remember going on it the first time going oh this is what it's like touching the grass going this is what it's like because it's for, for, for my generation for me anyway it's a massive thing yeah, to play at Murrayfield but I never got a chance to do that as a player and I now know that you, this group of guys are going to experience that and, and live through that and have that sort of camaraderie that shared experience for the rest of your lives you know so I'm so chuffed, I'm so excited for the guys getting to do that. That's, for me, it's it's the fact that I know you're going to have that, you guys are going to have that, that just blows my mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very much the same sort of things. I'm echoing uh, much of what Craig said, and it's, um, I never played it on the big park at Murrayfield, played in the back pitches a bunch of times with, with different things, and um, was meant to play there twice, I think, in, in my youth career. Um, Still time, mate. And, yeah, <laughs> and uh, I, think, I think that ship saved. But um, but yeah, and, and it's it's one of those um, things we've all we've all been to international matches, we've all dreamt about it, you know, and um, all that kind of stuff. So um, it's it's really really exciting even to be part of it as a coach, you know, be being part of the main show. Um, so I think we're going to revel in every second of it. Yeah. Good. Thanks very much, guys, and good luck on Saturday. You too.